Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues. It's a great pleasure to be here in Salt Lake City. It's snowing in Switzerland. It's 23 Celsius today. Well, enhanced recovery after surgery. Uh, oh, first, I have to mention my disclosure. It has just been mentioned. I'm a member of the Committee of the ERA Society, but actually there is no conflict of interest in this discussion. ERAs, ERAs in HPB surgery, well, we have the benefit for the colorectal surgery. I will show you that in a moment. But said that, we have also organ-specific challenges. And uh, one has been mentioned, this is the use of a drain or not in HPB surgery. And the main goal of all that is to decrease the complication. And finally, I will show you the first result in outcome in liver and pancreas surgery in the application of enhanced after, re after uh, surgery recovery program. Well, what is proven from colorectal surgery is decreased complication of length of stay, and it is proven that the ERAS is cost effective. Well, this reduction of complication by 50%, you see it here in the Cochrane review, uh, demonstrated the 50% reduction of complication, which is a lot for colorectal surgery, which has traditionally a lot of complication. And accordingly, as secondary effect, you have also a shorter hospital stay. And our group demonstrative, uh, looking at the real cost, that ERAS is cost effective. When impl implemented this in uh, Switzerland, we had a decrease of our severe complication by almost half. We had a significant decrease of our hospital stay. I would say for Europe, it is uh, uh, okay. And uh, for the cost, uh, looking at the real cost, uh, we have about uh, $2,000 per patient, which is probably similar to what you have just seen before for esophagus surgery. So, but the next question is what improve outcome in HPB surgery? Well, of course, surgical technique and strategy, uh, progress in anesthesiology, very important in the 20 last year, but the multidisciplinary treatment improved dramatically HPB surgery. And as an example, what you see obviously a patient with a lot of metastasis in his both lobe of liver, and what is the difference between the, the first and the second patient? Well, actually, there is none. This is the same patient before and after chemotherapy, and this patient could be operated successfully. This is one of the major success in uh, liver surgery, this combination of a multimodal treatment. This said, can we further improve the outcome in liver surgery based on enhanced perioperative management? The answer is probably yes, and one possibility is the combination of colorectal and liver surgery and laparoscopy. I will give you an example in this acute uh, 73 years old lady. She had the right colonic cancer and she had the big uh, left metastasis. So she was treated according to the so-called reverse treatment. She first got uh, Folfox chemotherapy. Then after some cycles, she had the laparoscopic left uh, uh, lobectomy of the liver. She was treated according to ERAS and was home on postoperative day four, which is excellent for Europe uh, relationship. Then uh, she had three weeks later, very shortly, a laparoscopic right colectomy, again treated with the enhanced recovery after surgery program. She was home at the postoperative day three. So what we can demonstrate this, we can achieve a good result using an enhanced recovery after surgery program, which is a multimodal pathway. It is uh, to reduce the surgical stress, that's the pathophysiology, less morbidity and better recovery, and it is supposed to be evidence-based. It is evidence-based for colorectal surgery. It is coming slowly for liver and pancreas surgery. You have some hot and some not topic. Among the hot topic, you have here four examples, which are among the most important elements in the ERAS, and you have the not. Of course, the discussion about bowel prep is not very interesting for liver surgery, but the fluid restriction is as it is the use or not of drain, and for all major surgery, and you have just seen a picture before, uh, early mobilization is very important. And I'm very grateful to my friend Don Lowe from Seattle who gave me this picture taken here in this state, Utah. If you look well, you see a patient uh, who is uh, beside the guy in green. The guy in green is holding a ventilator, and if you look well, the patient uh, is intubated. And if you look even better, you will notice the patient has only one leg. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is a very intensive post-operative mobilization and show that with a lot of support, we could uh, mobilize every patient after mo uh, major surgery and this pretty quickly. 
mentioned uh, about the differences between the colorectal surgery and all other specialties. You have done, just heard some example before. Uh, you have some organ specific program and uh, the pancreas of liver is just coming. We had the publication of the guidelines for pancreas just last year. And this said, uh, we have some organ specific challenges for very low rectal anastomosis, uh, the discussion about bowel prep and use of a drain, of course, and in pancreas, the use of a gastric tube or not, a drain, and uh, in liver, of course, the fluid management. Because the important ERAS element in HBB surgery is the fluid management in the drain. Of course, the nutrition, and I apologize if I'm not insisting on the nutrition on time purpose, but it is also a very important element in the enhanced recovery after surgery program. And of course, as well, and we should not say that in the SAGES, the laparoscopy is a very important element also to reduce the postoperative uh, stress and increase the improvement, uh, improve the, the, the recovery. Well, the anesthesia for liver resection, uh, one can discuss about normovolemia or fluid restriction, cold restriction compared to what was done in the past. But we have to work to achieve a successful liver resection with low central venous pressure. And this is excellent because this uh, uh, Swedish paper show very well that the more the patient will get fluid during the operation, the more the patient will gain weight in the post-operative phase, the higher is the complication rate. And so liver surgery, accustomed to work with low fluid, uh, is predestinated to be uh, uh, well for uh, enhanced recovery program. Speaking from the drainage in HPB surgery, there are some theories uh, or dogma, let's say that way. Uh, it should decrease bilioma, uh, it should uh, prevent uh, fluid accumulation, detect bleeding and detect leak. For the two loss, we know it is not true. We will detect 10% best from the bleeding of the leak. And uh, about the rest, uh, we did uh, 10 years ago a meta-analysis on what we could find. Uh, and uh, for example, for bilioma, you show exactly in the middle no differences in bilioma if you had or not a drainage. However, the only difference is as if you had initially a prophylactic drain, your bilioma will be significantly more infected. So the conclusion has uh, stated by this uh, uh, Cochrane review some years later, uh, stay the same, abdominal surgery is safe without drainage. You had a very nice lecture this morning on this topic. There is no reduction of complication by drainage and the drain might even increase the complication rate. Of course, when you speak from pancreas, you will say, well, uh, with the soft structure, we know we have an increased number of uh, leak and maybe we have to drain that this prophylactically. But this remains an open debate and it shows that how ERAS concept should have some flexibility. And I think it's important to emphasize this is the flexibility of such program. You have this element, we classify them in three phases. Pre-operative phases, I don't go in the detail, uh, in the pair-operative phase and in the post-operative phase. And what you see all on this uh, uh, slide, all these elements, they are not very spectacular, they are easy measure to put in. The difficulty is to put all them together. And what we know is the more we will apply these elements of ERAS, the less you will have symptom, the less you will have uh, complication, and the less you will have readmission. And that brings us that the ERAS goal is also to decrease the complication. And why is it very important to decrease the complication? Number one, the complication should be classified to be compared between the different papers. And actually, we use the Dindo Clavian classification since 10 years. But which is important, you have a direct impact as these two papers are showing, for example, on the long-term survival of your oncologic patient in liver or in pancreas surgery. And for example, if you look at this slide, the patient who will have post-operative complication will have the same worst outcome as the patient who had no treatment at all. So that's why such an enhanced recovery after surgery program is important in the decreasing the complication. This said, what is the outcome in liver surgery? Have we, do we have some data? Well, the first question is, are those clinical pathways standardized? It is difficult, the answer for the moment is no. 
number of items of the Nenhance Recovery Program are very important to know. And the compliance, are the patient really inside of a Nenhance Recovery Program? Because we don't always uh, make what we think we do. And is it an ERAS program? So that was the problem of these two papers, very interesting, published in BGS in 2008 and 2010. Uh, they were looking at the, they, they are the first results in the liver surgery. And actually the first uh, results are uh, not very spectacular. You see here always a tendency for less complication, but it is not significant. The only stuff which is significant is a reduction in length of stay. But how many ERAS items were in and what was the compliance, this is not said in this paper. This is one of the criticism we have to have of the majority of paper published in Enhanced Recovery. One should show if we really adhere to a program. And uh, this paper published last year and also in BGS by uh, the group of the Royal Surrey Hospital show also no differences statistically in uh, uh, complication rates, but they show a significant decrease in the number of patients with postoperative complication, which is very important. The mobility, as mentioned before, is highly uh, improved and the length of stay is highly decreased, which is a first success for this liver program. And moreover, it has been mentioned before, they spare a lot of money because uh, the patients are costing less money uh, and this is the result of the Royal Surrey Hospital uh, in the UK. Those are our uh, preliminary results. We had 42 patients in the ERAS program and uh, the standard care 71. This is a first comparison. You see we had an average of two segments resected. Only one third were uh, major hepatectomies. And this is the outcome. Already for this preliminary result, we had a, a significant, significant decrease in length of stay and a significant decrease in morbidity, which is also very important because this is the goal, uh, one of the goal of this enhanced recovery program. How does it look like for pancreas surgery? One of the first publication was by the Milano group uh, in Europe. Uh, they had 17 ERAS items. They had a good compliance, a good adherence to the program. And you see they had a decrease in complication at both uh, uh, lengths of stay, which is a good result. And then this was this uh, guideline published about the, the ERAS program specifically for Whipple procedures. And uh, there was also a meta-analysis you see here uh, for the length of stay and for the complication, uh, you had a significant decrease. So the application of an enhanced recovery program in pancreas surgery seems with those preliminary results be already successfully. Again, a uh, preliminary result from uh, our own hospital, we compare 42 to 43 to 43 Whipple procedure. And what we see here, we had not a dramatic decrease in the severe complication, but we had a significant decrease in the length of stay. Those are preliminary results. And we were looking a little more in detail, and what we show that the patient who make postoperative complication uh, have a benefit of the enhanced recovery program because they have also a significant decrease in length of stay. And uh, what we have done in the treatment, we have stopped to put preemptive nasogastric tube. You see that here, highly significant, less. And we had no more reinsertion of, post of a gastric tube in the postoperative phase, about one third. And we also stop all the somatostatin analog. And even if we have the feeling we have less uh, complication in the ERAS group, this is not statistically significant because the number are too low. So if I come to a summary of the use of enhanced recovery program in liver and pancreas surgery, it was proven in colorectal, but it is now applied in liver and pancreas surgery, and the first results are very encouraging. It uh, show a reduction of complication, it show a decrease uh, length of stay, and also in some program, a decrease in cost. Uh, which is very important and I think we should emphasize as all the time, one should look at the compliance, it means the adherence to the program and one should audit the results. And of course the further benefit uh, will be under investigation and I'm sure uh, the president of the ERA Society is happy as I show uh, this uh, slide uh, for the next uh, uh, Congress uh, coming uh, about uh, ERAS and if you have more information, you find them on the website of the society. Thank you very much for your attention indeed.